Thanks, Teresa. With rising tensions between police officers and those they serve, the Missouri State Highway Patrol wants to be more open with the training troopers go through and the responsibility they carry. KTVO's Kayla McGee has more. A half a second can mean the difference between life and death for a Highway State Patrol officer. And to better build trust with the community, the Missouri State Highway Patrol held a use of force and accountability form to show what the everyday life of an officer looks like and the type of training they must go through before they become an officer. Now, I was able to go through this form and was actually able to do some hands-on training with the officers. Here's what I learned today. The first part of the day was a lecture on the definition of force as it relates to law enforcement. What steps an officer must take when making a decision to use force or not and the evaluation period after a use of force incident. The patrol defines force as a technique, action, or device to change behavior of an individual. The program listed situations when force is necessary and what the review process is like after force has been used. If a state trooper sees another trooper or any other law enforcement officer using unnecessary force, it is their duty to report it. After the seminar, we got to get some hands-on training with the officers and run through the training that they go through. The first one was a simulated traffic stop where we got to pull over two officers acting as civilians. We went through different scenarios as simple as a routine stop all the way to the civilians getting out of the car in a threatening manner. All this while we had a fake gun to simulate how we would react and to show when it is necessary to pull the weapon. But that's not all. During my run through, I learned another skill an officer needs, attention to detail. I did everything right, except one thing. I didn't notice a gun in the dashboard. If this was a real situation, I could be dead. This is why the number one thing that they teach their officers is attention to detail. That little speck on the floor that you pay attention to may solve a crime. Make sense? Or it may save somebody's life. So the butt of this gun sticking out on a traffic stop may save your life if you see it. If you don't, it may kill you. Our last stop in the tour bus was kind of a virtual reality situation we had the gun in your hand in a high stress situation where force is unfortunately necessary. The situation wasn't just how quickly you can pull a gun. It also had situations where you had to assess the situation and decide when and where it is appropriate to fire your weapon. The number one goal of the simulation is to put you in the officer's shoes. The purpose of this is just to show you in kind of a non-threatening environment how quickly these things happen and how fast the, the decision is made and, and how hard it can be for the individual officer. The program has already been shown to local organizations and lawmakers with the goal of being more open about the process of what it takes to become a highway patrol officer and what it's like to be a state trooper. The patrol wants to use the feedback it gathers to better serve the community. Because we've taken it to the different locations, uh, we've given them uh, the perspective, but we've also asked them, we've also given them the opportunity to talk with us and to give us uh, their suggestions, to give us their concerns, again, so that we can work through this together. By showing the type of situations that an officer can get into and the training that they received, the Highway Patrol hopes this will help build a relationship with the community and help build trust. Reporting for KTVO News in Jefferson City, I'm Kayla McGee.